Hello everyone, my name is Guilherme and welcome to another video. This video we're gonna keep uh, writing the code of the MMO server. Uh, in the previous videos uh, we managed to, to do all the basics like let me open my server here and run the python server.py and if you see here uh, there is a tick going on that we uh, implemented in a previous video that is basically like every um, second every um, game tick it is gonna run this method here that's why it's printing it's working everywhere and of course I can change this we, we added like terminal comments uh, in the previous video as well so let me run it again I can set tick to 30 frames a second or I can get tick all sorts of cool uh, and tick is 30 all sorts of cool command commands here uh, to run the game we have a help function here with a lot of stuff and of course you can uh, type kit to kit the game uh, for those who don't know I'm writing uh, a massive multiplayer online role-playing game working up to an hour a day and I'm gonna post like daily videos on the development process so if you want to learn how to create a massive multiplayer uh, online game it's a great idea to follow along and subscribe to this channel if you are not so what is missing here what is missing uh, for us to, prog uh, to progress in the server well the most basic thing uh, the server does not does not have any kind of connections yet uh, which is like kind of fun because well we are making a server but there is nothing uh, to do with online stuff not yet and this is the next step and this is what you're gonna do uh, today we're gonna use Python sockets to finish um, what do we need to to make this an actual online server so let me open the document here that I was using to, to plan the game and uh, we wrote this entire document live in the previous videos if you uh, if you'd like to follow along but in the architecture of the server here the next thing that we have that we need to to care about is the connection listener that is basically another thread as we uh, talked earlier on, earlier on that are gonna block and wait for uh, new TCP socket connections and once uh, it find a new connection you're gonna create a client handle that is basically a class that implements uh, threading uh, thread from Python okay so every client is gonna run in a separate thread this is important here so let's start writing this thing the first thing that, that I'm gonna do is uh, replace this socket here. I, I already have the socket uh, library imported and the first thing is that I'm gonna create a new socket here. So self.sock we're gonna be socket dot socket that is basically uh, the socket itself and then we need to define two, two stuff here, two things. The first one is the IP family and I'm gonna use sock dot AF underline INET. This is IPv4, okay? And the other, I'm gonna explain that in a second, but the other stuff is the type of the socket. And we're gonna use a TCP socket, and in Python you call it a SOC DGRAM. I'm sorry, SOC string. DGRAM is for UDP, that is datagram. Uh, TCP, you're gonna use uh, the SOC string. This AF in uh, INET here is important. Let me explain uh, real quick. This is an IPv4. So AF INET means IPv4. And if you want, for example, to define the uh, the local host is 127.0.0.1. This is like the most common IP uh, ever, of course. And that was. There you go. But there is an, op uh, an option to use IPv6. And this is just like to, for you to understand a little bit. Uh, if I use INET6, I will be using IPv6. That is going to be, let me just document this real quick. The local hosting IPv6 is going to be this. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still uh, practicing the English. But this is the difference, uh, in fact from IPv4 and IPv6. Honestly, I'm not gonna worry about IPv6 now. I will only implement this to work with IPv4. That is the old school IP stuff, okay? 
well, I can do that. I can like do that later on, but I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Okay, not yet. So another thing they're gonna do is create a default um, IP. That again, we're gonna be 127.0.0.1. That is a local host for now. Uh, when you pass this to the server, like to an actual server in the cloud, may be a great idea to change that to 000. Okay, uh, I don't remember correctly, but I'm gonna leave it as local host just for now. Okay, and I'm gonna make a default port. 8080 is a great default port, okay? And why that? Because uh, we created the, the socket here, but now we need to bind the socket to something, okay? So I'm gonna do self.soc.bind, and I'm gonna bind it to a tuple that are gonna contain the default IP and the default port. Okay, so now it's binding to this IP and this port. And the next thing that I'm gonna do, oh, maybe a great idea to actually print like a uh, server address. And then I'm gonna do like, let me, call, let me put this in a variable just to make, uh, make things a little bit easier. And I'm gonna print the address, okay? This is important just for us to figure out that this the server is online, okay? Uh, I'm also gonna print like a hint type kill oops or kit to shut down the server. Very simple, okay? And the other stuff, the other thing that we need to do is to enable the server to accept connections because right now it is not going to be enabled to accept connections even uh, after this bind. So we need to do uh, self.soc.listen. This is how you set up a basic uh, socket, okay? Very simple, very uh, efficient way to handle sockets in Python, okay? You just need to do this. It, it, it does not need to be more complicated than that. And you also need to close the socket because uh, we opened the socket here uh, in this address okay no problem but then uh, we need to close the socket uh, after that let me just uh, reorder this to make things a little bit uh, easier to read and, and understand what's going on here you go uh, and for now because python does not have like a uh, destructor like it does not have a proper destructor. And I know that some people will say, hey, but you have like underline, underline, del, that you basically behave like a destructor sometimes, uh, but it's not, um, from, from my experience, Python is not gonna call this every, every time. So that's kind of weird and odd. So what I'm gonna do for now, it may not be the best option in the world, but I'm gonna close the socket <clears throat> when the run main function closes. So uh, here, when, the, I, when I stop iterating this while loop, meaning that the running is false, I'm gonna close the socket, okay? It's, it's gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna do. So self.soc.close. Uh, always remember to close your socket because you know, when you open a socket, your operational system, this is, oh, socket is a, no, an OS specific stuff, and it's gonna open the, the door uh, to listen to the network, and if, if you forgot to close it, uh, well, you're gonna run into problems probably, okay? <clears throat> so always remember to close your sockets uh, after you finish with them, okay? Uh, that may be enough, uh, I guess, for us to just run the, the server. Oops, there's a, a problem. Sock is not defined here. Uh, oops, my bad. This line here, it's socket, not sock. I'm sorry. Now, you should be able to run. So you can see here, server address is uh, 127.0.0.1 and the port is 8080. Just like you can expect, okay? Uh, now, that we have that we have this we can start to actually like write the code that you're gonna listen for uh, connections in this port and if a connection is found it is gonna uh, create a new thread to handle that connection okay so this is exactly what you're gonna do right now 
So first things first, I need to create another uh, method here to actually run the accept connections, okay? I'm gonna create here a new def, and I'm gonna call it uh, underline accept connections. I have a self, and the description of this, you're gonna, uh, they're gonna real run while the server is active and block to listen to new connections. When found, it will start a new thread to it. Very simple. So in other words, we're gonna have to, while the uh, server is running, just like we do here, so while self.running, <coughs> I'm gonna try to find a new connection. How to do that in Python? Well, uh, Python uh, socket, when you accept a connection, they are gonna return like two things, basically. Uh, that is like, let me put that inside a try accept, maybe, let me think here real quick. All right, uh, the way we do that in Python is, uh, we use self.soc, that is the socket that we just created, dot accept to accept a new connection. And this is going to return two things. It is going to return a connection, that is another socket, by the way, and an address of that connection, okay? So we, we can uh, receive the, the thing here. But, of course, if anything goes wrong here in the process, uh, it is going to raise an exception. So we need to put that in, inside a try and accept, uh, because, again, if, if something goes wrong here, for example, if the socket is closed, uh, if the connection, like, if, if the internet connection of the server uh, got shut down or something like that, if anything goes wrong here, it's going to raise an exception. That's why we need to, uh, to, to catch that exception. And, again, well, it's not a huge deal. I'm going to put a rule here. If, uh, if a connection, like, if something wrong happens to the connection, uh, I would probably just shut down the server. It may not be the good, the, the best option in the world because like um, if the user managed to broke, like to make this accept, raise an exception, we're gonna have a problem. But again, uh, I, I would just break the the accept connection for now, okay? Or oh, Actually, let me just print something. Print connection error. A sapped connection error. Just for us, uh, for us to keep tracking of that, but uh, it may be a great idea to shut down the server here in this case, because probably, for example, uh, since we are shutting down the, the socket here, uh, we may have like this thread, because this function we're gonna block. In other words, the thread is gonna sleep until a new connection uh, is done. So if you, if you close the socket here, it's gonna make this accept have uh, a problem, of course. So maybe the cause. Yeah, yes. Let me let me actually solve the running is equal to false, and I'm gonna, then I'm gonna break this. It's not necessary to break actually. Here we go. So I'm just uh, exception, and I'm gonna print shutting down. Uh, this like try and accept stuff inside a, a server, it's kind of boring to do, but it's very, very, very necessary because you don't want you, you, uh, your server to have like an expected behavior if a connection gets incorrect, okay? So it's important to uh, spend some time here. If a new connection is made, because this is gonna return like new pointer, like known, actually, there's no new pointer in Python, if, uh, if it could not accept a connection, or again, a socket, if, if so. So if con, meaning that we have a new connection, again, I can print that, actually, new connection, and I can print the address. Let me print the address. Uh, and then, what I'm gonna do here, like, since we have a connection, is again, start a new uh, client handle for that specific connection. So it's a lot of stuff going on here, uh, I know, but um, 
we're gonna have to create a client handle right now. But before that, let me actually spawn this accept connection thread and make sure that everything is going on correctly, that we can start and shut down the server with this connection, uh, with, with the sock.accept working, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead here in the thread, in the run method, and I'm gonna create thread accept com that are gonna be threading dot thread and the target are gonna be self dot accept connections here you go and then I'm gonna start this thread just like we did before with the tick so I'm starting the accept connection thread and here uh, after I join the tick I will actually join this as well Join is going to mean like join this thread and wait until it finishes, okay? Just like that, very simple. And now, let's test to figure out if everything is working. So now, uh, what is happening here is like uh, the server is running, but he also uh, launched the accept connections uh, thread. So the accept, the accept connection thread is basically blocked right here uh, at this exact moment because it's waiting to a new connection. Uh, and in the next video, we're gonna create like uh, a client to actually attempt to connect to this and we're gonna start seeing uh, things working a little bit better, okay? So, but for now, this is like, what do we, what do we wanna do here, okay? Very basic and uh, if I kit, oh, just like I said here, uh, what happened is like error, accept connection, exception, and shutting down. What happens here? Take a look at that. Uh, I typed kit that we're gonna set the running to false, and then we got, the, we got this error, meaning that it uh, reaches this exception here. Uh, basically, because as I said, the socket is now closed, because uh, when the running is false, the main thread, you're gonna close the socket, and then uh, it's gonna cause this sock.accept that is blocked to uh, raise an exception, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, what happened here? Okay, basically it raised an exception. And if you want to figure out what is that exception, because well, it may be a great idea for us to only uh, shut down the server in this case here if the, the socket like if the exception is like the socket being closed. Okay, so what we can do here is import here the sys import sys, oops, and then that's actually a hint for you guys uh, as well. I'm gonna print the, what is the exception? That, and we can do that by sys.exc underline info. And we're gonna have, we're gonna get the first parameters of this uh, stuff here, okay? Let me put this here. Let me run the code again. And let me kit. Here you go, OS error. So it's probably like the server was shut down and then we um, we, we can't progress uh, pro pro with this stuff. Well, I think that's okay actually. I only, I will just put this here. I'll leave it here. It's not a problem. Here you go. So it's basically what do you wanna do here uh, and I'm gonna break that, I'm gonna split that into different videos and different days because uh, it's gonna make more sense because in this video, we actually, uh, it may not so sound like we did a lot of stuff, but we actually did because we created the socket here. Uh, we bind it uh, with an IP address and a poll and then we set this to listen. Uh, we shut down, of course, here in, in the end. And then now we have also a thread that is running asynchronously and to wait for a new client. And we have like a new connection here. Uh, what I wanna do here in the next video will probably be like, uh, once we have this, please add uh, a new, a new thread, launch a new thread to take care of this. This is exactly what we wanna do in the next video. I will actually like uh, make a function for, uh, to, for it. Now, um, I'm gonna call it def add new client connection that are gonna receive the connection and the address. Uh, may return nothing for now, but I'm gonna put a pass. And here, 
uh, if the connection succeeds, I'm gonna call the add new client that are gonna receive the connection and the address, okay? Just like that. And uh, I'm gonna move this print to here. Okay, yeah. For now, I'm gonna keep it simple and not gonna add the client like for real. We're gonna leave that for the next video. Uh, and I think it's gonna work a little bit better if, if we keep the video length a little bit shorter. And, and because uh, since I'm doing this, like I'm gonna work up to an hour a day. Some days I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna have like an hour to work in this. And I got a little bit dismotivated to work on this if I don't have an hour. And that's why I'm failing some days here in the past because uh, oh, if we manage to, to keep the scope a little bit short, things are gonna run a little bit smoother. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna handle this add new client because for now, it's, it's, it's doing nothing, literally. Uh, we just like receive a new connection and then we call this function, but this function does nothing as well. So we need to do t uh, basically three things in the next video. We're gonna be like a huge video uh, because the first thing is we're gonna add a new client and add a new client means, let me document this uh, as well. And we'll create a new client handle. Start it as a new, oops, thread and add it as well um, into a pool, okay? Client pool. Actually, a client list. Right? An active client list. Better. Okay, so the point here is that we're gonna add the new connection to a list. Why that? Because uh, we need to keep track of the connected cl clients because again, uh, we need to send message to those, those clients if the user like sends a message uh, in the chat or attacks uh, another user and stuff like that. We need to keep track of that. And we also need to keep, to, keep, to keep track of that because eventually, and maybe it's a great idea to do that in the tick, we wanna shut down the closed, uh, we, we wanna like, clean up the closed connections. That's important to do, okay? So this we're gonna do in the, in the, next, the next video, I'm sorry. Uh, three things again, implement the add new client. We're gonna implement the shutdown disconnected clients and of course create the client handle, okay? So that's it for this video, folks. I, I, I'm sorry, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you have any tips, any suggestions, leave in the comments and I'm gonna try to answer as fast as possible. My name is Guilherme and I see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.